Hey, what's up, guys? How's it going? It is Lasty here. Welcome today to another FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Squad Builder. Now, we're going to be focusing on a popular league today, and that league is the Bundesliga. Lots of great players, and I actually managed to put a team together on an account where I've not spent any FIFA points or anything, so it's a very nice and cheap starter team that, if I can do it, you guys can as well. Today's episode is powered by my sponsor, Elgato Gaming, and the HD60 Capture Card. If you guys are looking to record your own gameplay, 1080p, 60 frames a second, all of that good stuff, then check the link down below in the description where you guys can go and pick one up. So getting into the squad then, of course we're going to start with a goalkeeper and I've gone with this guy right here. His name is Oliver Bauman. He's an 80 rated rare goalkeeper and as you can see I got him for 650 coins which I think is the minimum I could have possibly paid for this guy. So I was pretty happy about that and he was a average shot stopper I have to say. like I'm sure there are much better options in the Bundesliga but... <clears throat> We're working on a budget here. It's the start of the game, for Christ's sake. So, we move on to the defence, and we start with a non-rare gold at left-back. His name is Rafael Guerreiro. Someone already pointed out that my ter I'm terrible with pronunciations. But a Portuguese man who plays for Dortmund. Very solid left-back. Um, and then Mitchell Weiser comes in at right-back today. He's actually a four-star skill, four-star weak foot player, and a really decent right-back. He's kind of well statted in every area and almost plays like a right mid sometimes which I'm pretty happy with uh, the centre backs today we've got Dragovic as our first centre back he's an Austrian centre back from uh, Leverkusen, 72 pace and 82 defending, he's 6 foot 1 decent work rates, I thought he was quite solid and then we have Jonathan Tarr who is uh, just a beast he's a man mountain, 6 foot 4 72 pace with the 78 defending and eight, uh, 78 physical as well decent work rates I really, really liked him at centre-back. Um, he felt like a cheap version of Jerome Boateng. He really did. Obviously not quite as quick, not quite as amazing, but nonetheless, for the price you pay, he's a very, very solid centre-back. Now moving on to the midfield in this 4-1-2-1-2 formation, something I don't use very often. Um, our CDM is Sebastian Roder. Now he is a German place for Dortmund nowadays, and across the board, his stats are very, uh, very decent, and, and for a CDM, like he's, he's better statted for being a CDM. Shooting's not amazing, but very, very... Uh, I like him at CDM. He's a good player. Then we have Kalajuri coming in at the left side of midfield. 79 overall rated. He's got four-star skill moves. Most importantly, he's like six foot tall, which I was happy with. He helped out in the defense as much as he did going forward. Uh, and then Usman Dembele, a new wonder kid on the scene. 77 rated, makes his way into our squad today. Uh, he has four-star skill, five-star weak foot. And I really, really enjoy him. He's such a tricky little player. Uh, and he really brings that play out to the right-hand side. Does a great job on the ball. Very fun and interesting player to use. Doesn't cost an arm and a leg either. Um, Hakan Chalanolu, I think that's how you say his name, comes into the team today. 80 rated, of course. Seriously good at free kicks and long shots. Four-star skill, five-star weak foot. What more can you say, really? He's just, yeah, he's, he's almost the perfect cam for a budget squad. Kevin Volland makes his way up front today. Uh, on old FIFAs, he's either been like a centre forward or a right-sided player. So I was quite interested to see how he would do up front. Uh, a left-footed striker with high, high work rates and three-star skill moves. I was a little bit sceptical, but he pulled through and did quite well for me. But the main goal scorer is this man. He's a beast. It is Javier Hernandez. Chicharito, the Mexican striker for Leverkusen, is 83 rated after a great season last year. 83 pace. 81 shooting, um, again, kind of average on the skill moves and weak foot front, but I knew that he would score me goals, and boy, did he do that. Quite injury prone, which I was a little bit annoyed with. He did literally the first game we played with this team, 2 minutes 58 on the clock, and that's FIFA minutes, and he was injured and had to come off. So that kind of ruins it. But it means his goal to game ratio is even better. I think we actually got 10 goals and 3 assists in 5 games with this guy. What an amazing player. I'm going to go fully in-depth review on him over on the Fotwiz channel. I'll leave a link in the top right corner for you guys to go and subscribe over there. We've had Rashford, we've got uh, Divock Origi, and of course uh, Chicharito reviews coming up very soon. Uh, so uh, you guys know at the start of, of FIFA, I like to do the, the slightly cheaper strikers, the ones that you guys can actually afford uh, before we start moving on to crazy informs and legends and all of that good stuff. So I scored a lot of goals with the team. I actually had a lot of fun playing. It was... There was one or two stressful moments, you know, a little bit of lag here and there, or 
the one game where I was 3-0 up against the guy in cruising. He then scored seven consecutive goals uh, and was 7-3 up against me in extra time. So he scored, it was 3 all, and he scored four goals in extra time. And eventually that match ended like 7-4, I think it was. That was a little bit rage-inducing, but... Um, I need to stop thinking about wins and losses and, and rather just focus on the fact that that game, I actually got four nice goals that are four clips for a video. So that's better than getting like a 1-0 win where I only get one clip. So trying to, trying to get my mindset in the right place for FIFA 17 and not worry about those wins and losses. And I'm actually trying to get better at the game as well. FUT Champions is going to be very competitive this year. So I'm hoping to be a part of all of that. And I've already qualified for the first weekend league. So that's a good start, I guess. But we scored lots of goals. A great partnership up front. Uh, that whole trio of Chananolu at Cam, Voland and Chicharito up front. It worked wonders. Uh, I have to say, Caligiuri got stuck in as well. And that right there, this goal, when you see the replay, he does a skill shot and it nutmegs the goalkeeper. That is a finish and a half. It goes in off his ass, I think. Um... But yeah, Caligiuri and Dembele getting involved as well was most important. It really dragged the play out wide so that there were gaps for me to thread, uh, you know, do the new threaded through balls and stuff through. Uh, nice finish that one from Cal uh, from from Volland. Now this is my favourite goal with the whole team. Volland scores an absolute worldie. Look at this thunderbolt! Boom! That is an absolute worldie of a goal. A lovely strike, loads of power. I really like the technique of the strike and just how high it goes like soars past the goalkeeper uh, right into the back of the net a solid goal from a great player uh, and lovely shot from Dembele right there unfortunately only hits the post but Volan picks it up whips it back into the box and Chicharito who is decent in the air manages to score there uh, and I think it goes off Dabin but I'm going to cut that out of the video because <laughs> I'm already doing it too much aren't I in videos let's face it but Chicharito was my main goal scorer of course he is known for his his threats in front of goal really good at finishing the ball um he felt a little bit weak, uh, but I've, I'll, I'll talk way more in depth about him over on the Footwiz channel. But we did score lots of good goals, and, uh, and it was just a fun Bundesliga team, which, as I said, is something I've built literally from doing a tiny bit of trading on the web app, and I've not spent a penny on this account. So uh, I, you can also do things like get the kits from the catalog. If you can unlock a bunch of the kits, they work in Ultimate Team, and you can discard them or sell them. Uh, and get like 5,000 coins. So you can really get going with this team. Uh, obviously, Hernandez might be a little bit expensive of the thought of him getting an inform next week or in the next couple of days. So uh, his price might go up, but he's an important one to try and get him into the team. Hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. If you have, make sure you smash that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you are new around here. Have a good one. I'll catch you next time, guys. Peace.